Okay, first and foremost, this is the pamphlet here, all property copyright of whatever production, whoever owns the Shenguen production. We want to give our basically opening political debate. We were hoping that some adherent of Falun Dafa would basically answer us. We have one question. Is there any evidence that the so-called China before communism is reflected as some beautiful 5,000 year civilization? Because let me tell you, every time I refute Falun Dafa, all of a sudden I become the anti-national and, and basically I start to look like a Wei Da, a Han Jian. But I argue every dynasty is equally brutal in its historical educational. Every dynasty is equally brutal, horrifically terrible and violent. So how can anyone argue that the Zhongguo Gongchandang, CCP, Chinese Communist Party, is any different? I argue it is in total continuity with the brutal history of 5,000 years of totalitarianism. I want, I want, I want a debate, Falun Gong. I want to have an honest debate. Kaish! This is a debate we wanted to have, a legitimate debate with adherents of Falun Dafa, Falun Gong. Uh, so basically, here's the thing. Yeah, we're aware that the CCP does propaganda. They even try to co-opt foreign YouTubers to basically upload shit that basically, uh, that's negative, that, that paints Falun Gong in a native light, negative light, but, all right, so this is really, let me give a reaction to, about Zhongguo Gongchenda. Here, I've done my independent political assessment. So basically, I think my political assessment should trump everyone else's political assessment, including every committee of the Zhongguo Gongchenang, Dan Zhongyang. My political assessment, Falun Gong is not a threat to the Chinese state. Okay, so, um, I independently believe so I have a pamphlet right here. I have the pamphlet literally in my hand. It says China Before Communism. Shen Yun. And uh, it talks about China's totalitarian regime, how the CCP is this, uh, basically, you know, preserving Chinese culture. Yeah, I have the pamphlet right here. Falun Gong is in my, this, I mean, not Falun Gong, I mean, Shen Yun template is literally in my hand. I'm tapping it on my hand, okay? So basically, you don't need CCP propaganda. All right, here's here's the issue, all right? Yes, they are a persecuted group. Horrific things have happened to practitioners of Falun Gong. But in terms of the historical depiction of China before communism, I do not agree with Sheng Yun's depiction of China before communism. Every time I critique Sheng Yun, it puts me it turns me into a data Hanjian. It makes me into the anti-national. Because Shen Yuan paints, it, it, it depicts China. I mean, I don't mean paint. It depicts China as a beautiful civilization. It's such a beautiful civilization, rich history, but lo and behold, every it, it's almost like everything's ruined by the evil specter of the CCP. Here's the way I see it. L listen, listen carefully. No empire becomes a certain size because they're because they're lobby dubby peace loving. Empires live by the sword and they die by the sword. China live by the sword, die by the sword, live by the gun, die by the gun. Okay. Huo pao he huo yao. Zhong guo he pao huo pao. The li shi. So you were sure. Um. What bu tong yi. China has a very, in, in terms of imperial history, the imperial history is very bloody, very dynastic. It, it's, I'm talking something very historical, very educational, very factual. Every dynasty is incredibly violent. Let me say this again. Every dynasty is incredibly violent, incredibly bloody. And generally, if you piss off the emperor, you know, people, uh, the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huang, he uh, he buried. How many people did he bury alive? 
you know, so basically there's the there so basically I'm not denying Falun Dafa's persecution, but organ harvesting. But no. No and no. I do not believe that the Sheng Yuan depiction of a China before communism, that's I disagree that 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 is that the Sheng Yuan version of China, I do not believe that was ever an actually uh, existing version of China. But basically, um, the way I see it, they, uh, so basically China is a nuclear armed power, powerful military, biggest navy in the world, but they, they see ghosts everywhere. They, if, if they see Falun Gong on the street saying, uh, Tui Dang, leave the, Li Kai Zhong Guo Gong Chen Dang, Tui Zhong Guo Gong Chen Dang. If they see Falun Gong on the street saying, Da Dao Zhong Guo Gong Chen Dang, abolish the Communist Party, then they freak out. It's like, you have a group of religious adherents, persecuted adherents. They are no threat, and they have no chance of taking power. They are, they are, in terms of, they don't have any political power, unlike the Christians in the Roman Empire. It's not even comparable to the Christians of the Roman Empire that eventually did take power under Constantine. But basically, Falun Gong is not a threat to the CCP. The CCP is obsessively, they feel, they feel ridiculously threatened by Falun Gong. Falun Gong, I believe, does have some political influence in the, in the United States, but as a whole, I, I, you know, they shouldn't be persecuted. And in terms of China's actual history, now, I, I disagree with the Sheng Yuan uh, depiction. There was Zhonghua Mingguo, the Shi, uh, Shi, uh, the, 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 the Mingguo, this period, Republican period, you know, that was, that was just, you know, the very bad, Qing dynasty, very bad, all these dynasties, they're all, every dynasty is equally horrifically bad, equally horrifically dynastic, equally horrifically authoritarian, totalitarian, so, um, if you criticize the Communist Party, you have to criticize all 5,000 years of Chinese history, starting with the first emperor that literally buried whoever he did. He, he buried the scholars alive. So if you want to say the go if you want to say the Communist Party is brutal, then you have to say every single dynasty is brutal. You will have if you call the, C the China to of today brutal, you have to just say all of China's China's history is brutal, dynastic, feudal. If you say the Communist China is brutal, then all of China is a history of brutality. 